it's a toxic relationship because they're codependent. It's got to be greed, driven by greed. You shot me, and now she admits it to me. You won't believe the buzz that's been swirling around the Duke and Duchess of Sussex supposed fairy tale romance. Word on the street is that their picture perfect marriage may not have been all sunshine and rainbows. Brace yourself because I've got some insider information that's sure to make your head spin. It's been confirmed that Harry, yes, the charming prince himself, has sought the advice of a divorce lawyer. Can you imagine? The questions are flying. Is this the end of the road for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? Or is it all just a meticulously planned act to keep their names in the headlines? Get ready, folks, because we're about to embark on an exhilarating journey through the twists and turns of Prince Harry's marital woes. So grab your gossip-loving buddies and hold on tight, because this is the scandalous roller coaster ride you've been waiting for. Megan isn't there to help him in the same way that if you really love somebody, you would be, actually. It all started with a magical moment when Prince Harry dropped to one knee and proposed to Meghan, sending shockwaves through the royal family. Love was definitely in the air, and Harry had finally found the one who would make his heart soar for eternity. But does he still possess that same unwavering love and happiness now? Or has the narrative taken an unexpected turn? Anyway, their whirlwind romance began in 2016, shrouded in secrecy, until the moment the news broke and sent the world into a frenzy. And let me tell you, their wedding in 2018 was fit for a fairy tale. After two years of living that Buckingham Palace life, our dynamic duo dropped a bombshell in January 2020. They decided to shake things up, waving goodbye to their senior royal status and stepping away from the spotlight. Why, you may ask? Well, they were fed up with the constant invasion of privacy and Buckingham Palace stifling their dreams of developing their own brand, Sussex Royal. I remember there were a lot of mixed reactions about this. Some were happy that Prince Harry decided to leave the palace and pursue a peaceful life, just as his mother would have wanted. However, there were also reactions suggesting that Meghan had influenced Harry's decision and that she wanted him to isolate himself from his family and neglect his royal duties. It was evident that the royal family wasn't particularly pleased with Meghan whenever they had interactions. They moved to California, which they considered to be their California dream. But is it truly all it's cracked up to be? Their new residence in Montecito sits around 100 miles away from Los Angeles, and it's no secret that this locale is a hotspot for celebrities. With its laid-back atmosphere, high level of safety, and utmost privacy, it's no wonder that the rich and famous flock to this area. According to Hello Magazine, Meghan and Harry can count Oprah Winfrey, Tom Cruise, and Ellen DeGeneres among their famous neighbors. But let's put all that aside for now because that's not the main event of today's gossip session. Brace yourselves for this jaw-dropping revelation. A sneaky source just spilled the beans about Harry's secret hideaway at the exclusive St. Vicente bungalows. It seems our dear prince has a room there that's conveniently set aside for him, providing the perfect escape from his wife, Megan. According to the source, this hidden gem is a two-hour drive away from their lavish $15 million Montecito mansion. It's like his very own sanctuary, a place to retreat when the pressures of married life become too much to handle. So why would somebody want to go and stay in a hotel um, to get away. I mean, it seems very odd. One of the hotels, it's permanently booked for him, which sounds to me that mm. it's something where he can rush to if things are bad. But hold on to your crowns, because the revelations don't end there. It has been reported that the royal couple failed to celebrate their highly anticipated fifth anniversary. No social media tributes, no extravagant displays of affection, it's as if the milestone simply slipped away without a trace. There has been no shortage of speculation surrounding the stability of their union right from the very beginning. One particularly outspoken voice was none other than Meghan's own sister, Samantha Markle. Samantha did not mince words when she accused Meghan of being a narcissistic social climber, even claiming that Meghan harbored ambitions of becoming a princess. 
Following the grand wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Samantha referred to Meghan as the Duchess of Nonsense and labeled Prince Harry as a wuss. But Samantha's fiery comments didn't stop there. She went on to suggest that Meghan was envious of Kate Middleton, likening her to the infamous Cruella de Vil and describing her as a narcissist. Samantha's candidness reached new heights when she discussed Prince Harry's forthcoming memoir stating, I think Harry lacks empathy, remorse, and shame. He is displaying a clear disconnection from reality and appears emotionally underdeveloped, unable to move on from his resentment toward a myriad of issues. Emotionally, I don't believe he has matured into an adult. It's not surprising to witness his bitter and delusional behavior, she further added. Adding yet another layer of intrigue to this already captivating tale, on March 30th of this year, a London judge rejected Prince Harry's attempt to fund his own police protection, refusing his request to challenge the UK government in court. Just so you know, ever since Prince Harry and his wife relinquished their royal duties and settled in California in 2020, the British government ceased providing them with security even when Prince Harry offered to cover the costs of his own protection during visits to the UK, his proposal was met with rejection. And here lies the explanation for why Harry is seeking divorce advice from a lawyer and reserving a separate hotel room to escape from his wife during their rough patches. It appears that Meghan's suitability as a partner has been called into question by more than just her sister. People worldwide have suspected her of having narcissistic tendencies. It's no wonder her own family chose not to attend her wedding. In an interview with Angela Levin, it was revealed that Meghan had already been contemplating leaving even before their marriage took place. According to Levin, Meghan was a meticulous planner who desired both her and Harry to depart from the UK so she could secure a reputable agent to pursue a career in film. Levin even suggested that Harry might be going through personal struggles, while Meghan, true to her alleged narcissistic nature, failed to be there for him when he needed her. Meghan was already planning to leave before actually she got married. She had all sorts of things. Leave the UK. Ready. Leave the UK. So I think she's a, a, a carefully, a careful um, planner and plotter. And my feeling is this, that um, Harry is actually doing something that is negative, that's upsetting, that will make him feel that he hasn't succeeded, that is very lowering. And Meghan is going the other way and going around in gold and going to uh, perhaps get a, a big part in a film and having a very good new agent. So she is absolutely separating from him. Some sources even claim that despite Harry's departure from his royal duties, there are indications that he may not have truly desired to leave it all behind. It appears that he wanted to maintain a connection and continue to be involved. But Meghan is the one who keeps him isolated, not only from the royal family, but also from his own father and brother. It has also been reported that the main reason Harry remained in their turbulent marriage was for the sake of their children. He longs to be with them every single day, to wake up and be the first person they see in the morning, just like his beloved mother used to do. They were previously spotted at a basketball game where an interesting moment unfolded. While Harry appeared to lean in for a kiss, Megan deliberately turned away. Despite both of them smiling, there seemed to be a hidden dynamic behind closed doors. And I'm sure you're already familiar with Megan's first husband, Trevor. But have you heard the juicy details of their dynamic split? According to a close friend of the wealthy entrepreneur, Megan's marriage came crashing down in an instant. Rumor has it that the breakup was so abrupt that Megan couldn't wait to remove any trace of their failed union. In a jaw-dropping twist, she supposedly sent her wedding and engagement rings back to Trevor using registered mail. It seems like Megan's narcissistic tendencies have been present right from the start. But the intrigue doesn't end there, as some experts are questioning the authenticity of these revelations. They suggest that these incidents may have been planned as a strategic move. According to these experts, Harry and Meghan wanted to stay in the limelight and constantly make headlines. Since their transition away from the royal family, it appears that their ability to generate income is heavily reliant on maintaining a high media presence. 
While we can't be completely sure about what's really happening, fans have been freely sharing their thoughts on this spicy topic. One person said, the first step of any abuser is to isolate their victim from their support system. So far, she and Harry are textbook of their own behavior. Another commenter added, he is married to a narcissist. This is horribly damaging. Now it's your turn, dear viewers, to join the discussion. Do you think Meghan and Harry are headed towards a messy divorce? Or is this whole thing just a big act staged for maximum drama? We want to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Don't hold back. Let the gossip flow.